Hi friends, Emily Midget here with you today on the Pink Fresh Studio YouTube channel and today I have this fun window card created using the new Fairy Tale Frame Better Press Plate um, which I actually have used as a hot foil plate rather than a better press plate. I love the versatility of the better press plates because they foil so beautifully in addition to letterpress so beautifully. So I have taken advantage of the really lovely detailed uh, frame die cut that you can create with this fairy tale frame plate and I've used it to create this fun um, top fold window card um, using some acetate and then some other uh, stamps and dies from Pink Fresh Studio. And I did end up changing the color scheme a little bit. I used the meadow ink and then I also used ocean breeze instead of the mint. So that was a little bit, uh, I, I changed direction a little bit in the middle of this um, project. So first I have taken the um, fairy tale frame plate and I have hot foiled it onto this lovely minty aqua um it's it's like a coated cardstock it's um it's not quite a foil but it's not quite pearlescent it's just really lovely and that coating on that cardstock it helps to um make a nice smooth foiling process for you because that cardstock is so super smooth it the foil adheres to it beautifully and it's a little bit thicker so it almost creates a foil and letterpress look um, so I'll have that linked on my blog that that cardstock linked on my blog and so what I've done I've heat or I have hot foiled it using some iridescent silver uh hot foil from spellbinders and then I just and I did that off camera because you guys know how to foil um and then I uh am die cut I die cut it with the coordinating frame die and then I'm just die cutting some of the curvy leaves uh standalone dies I've got them cut um, from the emerald uh, glitter cardstock, as well as some more of that uh, minty green coated cardstock. So now I'm going to create a top fold card um, using an, an acetate card front. So in order to do that, I have cut, this is a piece of very pale aqua cardstock, and I've cut it to four and a quarter by five and three quarters inches. And so then I've just taken my scoreboard and I scored along the top a quarter of an inch from the edge. So I scored it at the normal five and a half inch mark for an A2 card. That little lip is what we're going to adhere our panel of A2 sized um, acetate to. So I've just used some very strong double-sided sticky tape and uh, then I used my bone folder to kind of um, really burnish that uh, tape down onto my cardstock. And then I've just adhered my panel of acetate to that. And so then I have this fun uh, top folding note card that has a completely transparent front, uh, card front. So now I want to add a little bit of interest behind that uh, that pretty fairy tale frame. So I'm going to use the meadow ink and blend all the way around the edge of that uh, that aqua card front, the the back of our card, um, just because I want to add a little bit of extra contrast between the aqua colored card. Uh, back actually, and then the um, minty aqua hot foiled frame. So I am using some washi tape and I used um, a piece of scrap paper to make sure that I didn't get any ink on the acetate um, card front. And now you can see I've created just a little bit of extra interest and contrast behind that lovely hot foiled frame. Um, and so now I'm using that same super strong sticky double-sided tape to adhere my uh, fairy tale frame to the front of that acetate. And so you've got that little lip at the top where we um, adhered the acetate to the aqua cardstock, but that is going to be almost completely covered by our fairy tale frame die cut. And you can see how beautifully intricate the die cuts on that uh, frame on that frame image. Um, it cuts out every little detail. It's not just a typical oval. It cuts out all of those beautiful details. Um, I really love that fairy tale frame. I think that is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous, versatile piece that you can have in your craft stash. 
So now I have um, a sentiment from the Circle Florals stamp set. Um, these This Circle Floral set has some really beautiful, not only does it have beautiful sentiments on the stamp set itself, but it also has stenciled sentiments that you can use, um, which I ended up, I, I blended it and then I decided not to use it. So that's why you see the hooray at the top. But what I've done, I've stamped it using the Meadow ink on that uh, aqua cardstock. And then I also stamped it again using Versamark ink and then heat embossed it using iridescent blue embossing powder. And it just, that iridescent blue embossing powder just really adds a little bit of extra zing to that sentiment. Um, it kind of ties in the kind of blue tones in the uh, the rest of the card um, because there are lots of blues and greens in this in this card. So I ended up using uh, the, the curvy leaves die cuts behind that uh, you're amazing sentiment. I just love that sentiment. It's such a an uplifting, encouraging sentiment. And I love that the die cuts such detailed areas. It cuts those little areas in between where you wouldn't think that there would be uh, a space for a die cut that you wouldn't think that it could cut so intricately, but it just cuts that beautifully. And I love that about these new Pink Fresh Sentiment dies. So I've adhered my glittery curvy leaves die cut in the center, and then I've added the uh, ama Your Amazing sentiment over the top and tucked some of those um, extra pearlescent minty green leaves behind it just for a little bit of extra interest. And you get that tone on tone effect, but it's got that extra height. So it adds extra texture and you can still see them easily. You can see the effect of the monochromatic um, die cuts. So now I am just adding some iridescent bubble uh, embellishments just to add a little bit of extra interest and a little bit of extra texture. And I'm going to adhere those with um, my liquid adhesive. And that's it for this card. It's so, so, I think this is one of my favorite cards that I've made recently. It's so fun to have that acetate window in the front. Um, and I think it adds something just super unique. And you can write your message either right behind the um, solid die cuts or you, what I've done in the past, you can flip that card over and write your message on the back so that the um, effect is not ruined. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and the, the subscribe button to see more content from us in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.